We've got a uh, Superflow Cyclodyne 250 uh, that we purchased from SNS Cycle. They used it up there for their training program. Uh, once they disbanded their training and outsourced it, they sold the dynos. Um, this one comes complete with uh, AF, uh, AFR monitors. We have two of them down here, ECM AFR recorder 2400s. Uh, these were top of the line uh, for the automotive industry as well as motorcycles. Their capabilities are way above what we're using them for. It comes with an eddy current brake, uh, fully functional. We have a sensor box. We also have the uh, ignition pickup and the magnetic one back here, which is the optical tack. I do not have that hooked up at this time. Um, we're running two AFM monitors. We have the probe on the other side of the diode. Both these here, one and two, they come complete with the probes and the uh, valves. We home built the ramp. We need to get a ramp with the, uh, the dyno. This fan comes with it here? I okay. don't believe I'd have to ask about that. Here you go. Yeah. The fan goes with it? Yeah, it does. Okay, the high speed fan goes with it. Uh, we use that for cooling purposes. It has the hose clamp on the front, air driven and electrical for moving it back and forth. These two ducts are the cooling fans that are uh, drum driven by the bike. Uh, the faster you go, the more speed you get out of the more airflow, but we use the cooling fans to keep the exhaust cooled off. And then this uh, computer just runs the... Yeah, the computer's so running the software. Okay. Uh, we have the software on there. It's the latest version of the software that we got from Superflow. We have another monitor up there on the ceiling that helps us when, when I'm tuning it. I can see it better than looking down at the laptop. Okay. Is that everything? What's this control box? That's all of them have that? Yeah, that's the uh, handheld. That's how you control your dyno testing. Okay. Uh, what test you're going to run. It has multi-functions. I don't use all of them. Okay. Well, the weights are part of the um, calibration setup. We've got a three-foot bar back in the corner that we put on there to calibrate the drum. Okay. Calibrate it to make sure we have accurate uh, dyno readings. Awesome.